This is Knowledge is Power. It's so the August one. That's come early. Why did I say July? Hey, hello, team. My name is Monique. Welcome back to this new and improved cauldron and yet another Illumicrate unboxing. <music> In case you didn't know this book which is my channel and i know i have been absent but i am trying to return and i especially return with unboxings because i like doing them and this is the august illumicrate box which i have been so excited for i've tried really hard not to be spoiled for it because it's all over tiktok and i would have gotten this box on saturday but i had to get it re-delivered because i wasn't in on saturday i know really rude usually i get my boxes very fast so they don't have a chance to be spoiled for me and normally i don't mind but i'm very excited about this edition because i know what book is in here and i'm super pumped for it in case you are new to my channel or new to booktube and you don't know what Illumicrate is. Illumicrate is a UK-based subscription box that sent out a new hardcover release, usually signed, usually with like a special feature, so foiling or sprayed edges or a redesigned cover. And then they also send out five to six fandom-inspired items that is tied together with the book in a theme. I believe that this box is more aesthetic, more just vibes uh, than actual fandoms, but I'm super excited to find out. So let's open it, shall we? Additionally, Illumicrate also does um, special editions of books that they've reached out for. They also now have their own publishing imprint, Daphne Press, which I'm super excited for what else comes out from them. And then also they have a adult subscription service called Afterlight, which is adult romance. Um, this is the theme for August. This is Knowledge is Power and the book is Babel by R.F. Kuang and I'm so excited about seeing it. I believe I might have slightly been spoiled for it. But we're still excited, we're ready. This is the spoiler card with all of the items. I will, as per usual, leave the names of the artists down below. If they have an Instagram, I will add that. And if not, then you can just check it out or like, you know, pause, whatever. But let's go. I've tried to film this introduction several times, but. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, it's a pencil case. Is it a pencil case? It is a pencil case. Ha 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 ha. Knowledge is Carnage, which I believe is from the Atlas 6. Is that from the Atlas 6? But yeah, no, it's one of these, like, it's this nasty one where you then, you can pull it up or you can pull it down and then you can have, um, especially colored pencil I've seen people have in these and they're just super smart. There's nice material as well. Mart, Mart, one. We got a enamel pin inspired by Bunny, which is another sort of dark academia-ish novel. There's pink girl thingies and non-pink thingies. I haven't read Bunny. It's more horror thriller than I usually like to read. So. And we have the reading journal that I don't use because I have another reading journal, but this is stunning. Look at that silver foiling. Ooh. And then, yes, I believe. Oh, it's a general um, journal, but it's very cute. Oh, it has a weekly planner as well. I do love a weekly planner. But then, yeah, you can um, print out little versions of your books and then you stick them in here, which is quite cute. Oh, we got artwork. Stunning. This is stunning. I don't know what I'll use it for, but I, I want to use it because because it's pretty the one from last year is super pretty as well and these aren't dated step sent okay well that was excessively hard and it did not need to be that hard step set step set inspired by ooh, a lesson in vengeance by victoria lee which i really enjoyed oh i've seen these they're like smart so basically, you need to buy ink. Oh, these are so cute. Yes. And then um, they're sticky on the back and then you stick them on here and then you just tap it and then you can, on your bullet journaling. This is so cool. Yay. Oh, these are so pretty. It has all the goodies. Can you see these? Because they're in plastic. But there's like a little moth and a Ouija thingy and a book and books and a snake and a typewriter. Oh, and a little key. This is so exciting. I love this. Yay, Lumicrate for things that I can reuse, especially for my 700 other hobbies. I love a good little, you know, hobby time. Just, yes. Oh, this is so exciting. 
Yes, okay, we're trying to leave the book for last. Oh, we got another another item. Oh, okay, so these are a bookmark set that I believe are the characters from the book. And these are by Mo Wild, I believe. We're excited to meet these characters. Like, I'm, I'm pumped. Oh, she looks stunning. Oh, you look sweet. Oh, excited, excited, excited. And then we have the book, which I believe is very snazzy because obviously there's, there's, uh, well, there's still five items, but usually we have slightly larger items. <gasps> Stunner. Oh, we have a slip. Oh, a slipcase. Bear with us. I try to get the plastic off because I am apparently terrible at that. So we have a slip case with some foiling of stars and stunning. We have the more foiling on the back and then we got, ooh, okay. So naked hard back with not quite foiling, but it's almost like it's, it's onto the actual hard back. And it looks like it's the Tower of Babel. I know some people pronounce it Babel, 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 and Arv Kong has spoken about it several times, and I've always thought that it was Babel, like the Tower of Babel, but then some people call it the Tower of Babel, and it's all fun and games and stunning. Like, I wish it was engraved, I wish it was foiled, um, and then we also have writing on the thing that says, an act of translation is always an act of portrayal. And this is just ooh, stunning. Okay, we got some pretty end papers. We have a special tip in page that is signed. So the back end papers are beautiful as well. I'm super excited about this book. Can I really explain to you what it's about? Also the epitome of dark academia. We are following a young man who is, um, studying at Oxford, but Oxford isn't just Oxford, it's almost like a magical Oxford. And um, he is studying languages, I believe. Uh, it's also regarding colonialism, it's regarding like the, um, the unfairness in uh, upper academia, especially for POC and uh, queer characters, I believe. I'm not entirely sure what this book is about, but I am so very excited to find out. So this is stunning. I love the box content. I love useful items. Loom Crate is doing really well with getting me those lately. Um, however, I do understand that some people have been a little bit underwhelmed by this edition because sometimes Loom Crate goes all out. I like it. I think it's cute. I love a naked hardcover. But I will, yeah, admit that I wish that this was foiled instead of just like... Because it makes, it makes the main cover very just sort of slippery but I still like it. I have three more editions coming because I couldn't help myself, um, but I'm super excited. And yeah, that is the Lumicrate August box. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me. You also click the little bell to give you a notification when I put up a new video. And then I hope that you are doing well. I hope you're drinking lots of water and I hope that you know that I'm proud of you and I'll see you soon.